Welcome to the session where we will answer the question are biofuels or e-fuels right for my fleet? My name is Eve Helven and I'll be your presenter for the session. First, we need to talk a bit about what biofuels actually are. Bioethanol, the most common biofuel, commonly known as E85, is a renewable alternative to traditional fossil fuels. It is a blended fuel that contains two different fuel types. The first component for 85% is ethanol. Ethanol is derived from plant-based materials like corn, sugarcane and other biomass making it a sustainable fuel option. The second component for 15% is traditional gasoline. The ethanol component of E85 is considered carbon neutral because the plants used to produce it absorb CO2 during their growth, offsetting the emissions produced during combustion. Moreover, the lower gasoline content in E85 translates to reduced emissions of harmful pollutants. E85 is compatible with flex fuel vehicles or FFVs, which can run on both gasoline and ethanol plants. These vehicles are equipped with sensors that detect the fuel blend and adjust the engine's fuel management system accordingly. As more vehicle manufacturers are offering FFV models, the adoption of E85 is increasing. Despite its advantages, E85 also faces challenges, such as limited availability, lower energy content, and potential compatibility issues with older vehicles. However, with ongoing advancements in biofuel technology and also advancements in infrastructure, these challenges are gradually being addressed. In addition, other benefits of biofuel are the cheaper vehicles, an easy implementation because there is no need for charging infrastructure and cars can be, can be fueled up like traditional petrol or diesel cars. Now, to answer the question, is biofuel sustainable fit for my fleet? We need to look at the greenhouse gas protocol to calculate the emissions of a biofuel car. For the calculation, we consider 100 liter of biofuel and the mixed usage of the car. Because biofuel contains normal fuel, we need to make two calculations, one for the gasoline and one for the ethanol. Biofuels receive a special treatment in the greenhouse gas protocol, and it's not a 1585 calculation, but it's a bit more complex. The bottom line is that 100 liters of biofuel only emit 32.7 kg of CO2e. For comparison, a petrol or diesel car would be emitting more than 200 kg of CO2e. In conclusion, E85 offers a promising alternative to traditional fossil fuels, helping to reduce fleet emissions and dependence on non-renewable resources. But there are a few conditions. Accurate GEG accounting is crucial, and so is infrastructure, policy, and industry collaboration. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this session was useful for you.